Goose here, and today I am reviewing a mod called the Star Miner mod. Um, pretty much Star Mine, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm sorry, this is modded Monday on a Tuesday. I had a lot going on yesterday, so, um, I guess let's get started. If you're wondering how I got tiny little chests, it's because I'm using the Little Blocks mod, so I can make everything easy. But let's first start out with a natural spawning thing in the world. Every world will have these little things. I just made some coordinates to it. And there's like snow ones and netherrack ones. I saw a snow one by where I, my base is, so I'll show you. But they're like these huge, huge like balls that spawn around your world. And I think they can be different biome things. I don't know. Would you count netherrack as biome? And you probably just saw that, but it's going on the side. Uh-oh, I broke it. <laughs> you can see, there's all kinds of goodies in here. And it's like a Super Mario Galaxy thing. If you've ever played that game, you would understand what I mean by that. Because, as far as I know, I'm a big fan of that game. But, you can see, it's just, it's a little OP, I think. Because you can just get some dirt. Boing, boing, boing. Ooh, I got diamonds and iron and blocks and emeralds and stuff. I mean, it's a little crazy. It is pretty high up, though. But, that is it for this place. Oh, I forgot to time set zero before I met the video. Whatever. So let's go back to where we were. Okay. I want to show you the snow one real quick. Oh, I forgot to say. Did I? I can't remember if I said. Um, the reason why we're not in my lab right now is because I'm 1.6.4 right now. And the Star Miner mod is not 1.7.10. That's what my lab is in. I have a lot of things in there that I do, don't have in 1.6.4. But I do have the... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> ah, I keep on showing things. The Galacticraft mod. And that means blue jello is with us today. But I'm going to show you the snow one. There's the netherrack one. And then I saw a snow... We're going to build that here in a minute. A snow one up here. I was just kind of looking over here, and then I saw one. Come on, do it for the video. <laughs> do it for the video. It may have actually been the other way. Let's see if... I have no idea where it went. Whatever. Just throw that away. Okay. So, let's get back over here. So if we want to build one of those star things for ourselves, we can use this mod. So let's get started with this. Um, let's start with this little chest right here. If you get some outer star cores and put an inner star core with it, you'll get a gravity core. That's what you're going to use for the middle of your bay, for your star or your planet. So we put that up there. Okay, I thought it was raining. Then, to make an inner star core, you use glass four glass, four obsidian, an iron block in the middle, and you put that like around that, and then the outer scar star core is, um, I think you can put any type of sandstone, and then, so four, but whatever you want, four dirt, and then a lava bucket, and then you get outer star core, and a star controller, what you can do is you can right click the gravity core, I'll show you, when you place it down, you can right click it, and you can put like star rad and g rad. When you right click it with the star controller, it will um, let you control it from wherever you are. Because if that's in the middle of your plan, it's going to be a little hard to get to. Uh, and then um, gravity wall, which is what that is. Uh, I'm getting mixed up. It takes just three outer star core, which again, no, <laughs> that. And then we got outer star core, inner star core, and three sticks. We'll get you a gravity controller, and I think that reverses the gravity. So, and then we got a man bazooka. I have absolutely no idea what the recipe is for that. So, and before, before I made this video, I was looking up the Wikipedia, but I couldn't find it. And then we got some building blocks for our planet. So, let's get started. Let's get inner star core, some outer star core and some of her ice. Bring it up here. Oh, I'm gonna bring the gravity controller too. Or star controller. No, 
I just, I swear I just saw a snow planet. I don't know why, I just, ah, oh, I'm getting obsessed with that. Maybe it's the clouds I'm looking at. Maybe. Yeah, that's glad. Okay. So you start off with this in the air, whatever you want it. Then you get inner star core and star cut. Show you real quick. This, and then you get your um, star controller, which is not active. You right click it, and then you can see the coordinates, and you can control it for wherever you want now. So, let's surround this. Oh, I never showed off the gravity wall. Go down there in a minute. Okay. So the wall that I got picked up on. Oh, I can't see my chest. I always look for chests, but there's no chest. Um, you can climb up this like this, and it works. So you can go like all the way around. <laughs> and then once you jump off of it, you lose the force. <laughs> And mobs actually do not get pulled by the gravitational pull, so you can't put some villagers or whatever on a planet and they're going to be upside down. It just doesn't work like that. So, this building. I tried to build this and with the little blocks mods so it could make a tiny little planet, but it actually crashed my game, so don't try that. <laughs> Oh, sometime I'll show off the little blocks mod. I'm trying to get the Gulliver mod so I can do a d double mod showcase, but I don't know how to get the Gulliver mod. I'm trying to get it. Hmm. Almost done. And something I've learned learned from building with stars in this mod is, is never have some gravitational pull while you're like constructing it. Like on here, like you have ten or something. Because it'll pull you and stuff while you're trying to build it. So you want to do that when you're done. Just for people that are watching this. And here in a minute, I'll tell what the man bazooka does. Okay, we've fully encased our star. So if we want to test it out, set it to 10. And you can see I just got pulled from it. Oh, that's the problem small planets usually get tossed around on it. But you can see, we got our little star thing here. Whoa, okay. And actually, I'm going to build from a different material because ice is see through. So, uh, Star Miner. Uh, Star Dirt comes in this mod, and I think the reason why they did that is because when you build grass and stuff, it's like upside up, so it looks really weird. But Star Dirt doesn't have any sides to it, it's all green, so that should be a good material. Oh, I can see snow. I can see snow. Stop pulling me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay. Let's get a bit closer. Or a lot closer, I guess. Yeah, so there's a snow one. And there's another black one. And I've seen stuff like snow ones, so you should be able to find a lot of them. Here. Fell pretty far there. <laughs> Okay, now we can start filling this up with starter. Sometimes I'm really bad at building, but it's good. I've been playing for years now, so I'm usually used to building. <laughs> Very slowly building. I remember when I very first started playing, I was unused to it. Because I used to play a game called uh, Mind Blocks, I think. Uh, I forget the name. But it was from a programmer that made a website. And he. It was pretty much Minecraft, besides it was in 2D. And the controls were different. So. Once I finally bought Minecraft, I, yeah, pretty much did. Um, it was way different for me. <laughs> Planning on making a mod survival series, so I can put on like this mod and Galacticrap. Whoa, wait! Oh, I forgot. Okay, I can't put this in my uh, mod pack that I'm making because I'm 1.6.4, and the open computers and 
Oh, I guess I just gave a spoiler <laughs> for the next mod on Monday. I don't really know what I'm going to do the next mod on Monday. I'm just showing mods that I like a lot. Like, like mods I already have installed. I got this mod from, by the way. I think I got it from Sky Days or Sky Dads. I don't know how you say it, but and on there I typed in uh, the Star Miner mod for 1.6.4, and you don't want to go to the original thread because because it's um a Chinese or Japanese mod. I forget which one, and the web page is like way unreadable if you're an American person or you don't know Spanish or China or whatever. So I'm just saying you want download the zip file, but let's set our planet to 10, and then I can show off the man bazooka, show what it does. So I think what you do with it is, is you like, go into your planet, and then you have to make sure you have a gravitational pull, and you put it down, it looks like TNT, and when you go inside of it, you go on a squid and you launch up, so let's see if it works. Yep, oh wait, Oh, it was so close. <laughs> Pull me in. Yay, it worked. Okay. And now we got our planet complete. Besides, maybe 10 isn't. Let's try 5. Oh, wow, I fell from that. Okay, yeah, it has to be 10. So, for my planet, anyways. And I remember there was one more thing I was going to show off. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't put it in my thing. But in the Star Mine mod, they also have um, flowers and saplings and stuff. So I don't know how exactly you craft these, but um, what they're used for, I'll show you an example of this bed and a regular bed. When you go up here and you want to place a bed down on the top, or I'll go to the bottom here in a minute. <laughs> this is the bad thing about small planets. It's just, this happens. When you have a big planet, it usually doesn't happen. Until you just get pushed off. <laughs> okay, there. So let's go under it and place a bed down. Uh, hi, hi, blue jello. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't let you, but this bed is specifically made for this. So you can put like a bed down here. And that's what the star items are for. So like grass and normal grass. I'll show the comparison here. Oh. Okay, yeah, there's normal grass. You can't put this down here, but with this you can. So and now we got a little bit of a weird looking plant. So I believe that is it for this mod. If you liked it, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Wow, I just noticed that. <laughs> Antenna thing. Um, if you want to see the little box mod next week, make sure you tell me, because these chests are awesome. You can totally do anything with this. You can, with the little box, you can make tiny little trees, or, uh, I don't know. You can make, I'm trying to think of a good example on what to say. You can make a redstone machine with it. But anyways, uh, a small one. Anyways, bye.